Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Miriam Uluato in Campbell and I'm a Nigerian. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an educator and a consultant. I work with small businesses and I also teach entrepreneurship studies in school. So that's what I did um, until the COVID um, started and um, a lot of us like teachers were let off. So um, since then, what I've been doing is I've been working, doing some research work for graduate students and all of that. So that's how I've been keeping body and soul together. So um, one of my older, old, like an older sister, an older friend, uh, she lives in Dublin. She sent me a link earlier this month that uh, I should participate in the Fish for Life program. It's organized by Dr. Okweban Wo. And he organized it in celebration of his 60th birthday. So uh, the first thing we did was to join, or the first thing I did was to click on the link to join the Facebook page, and which I did. I went through the page and saw all about, read all about it. So I registered for the program, and um, the initial program is a five-day boot camp, for which I we just completed yesterday, Friday, the 19th. And it started on Monday the 12th. Uh, it's been a very wonderful experience on digital entrepreneurship. Fish for Life basically is, you know, they say, don't give someone fish, you know, teach them how to fish. So that's basically what this program is all about, teaching us how to fish, teaching us how to be our own boss, teaching us how to be employers and labor in the digital works, um, marketplace. So for the five days, um, for each day of the boot camp, we were introduced to different areas of digital marketing. Day one, we were introduced to freelancing. Day two, we were introduced to book entrepreneurship, how to write your own book and be a self-publisher. Day three, we were introduced to affiliate marketing, how to help other businesses market their products and services and then uh, make generate an income from that and therefore we were taught about social media entrepreneurship so using youtube um, tiktok creating videos the type of videos you create and all of that and on um, day five which was yesterday the last day of the boot camp we were taught um blogging you know um, blogpreneur that's the word for it blogpreneur so a, a blog entrepreneur so you yeah, generate income from blog um, your posts and all of that um, creating traction getting clicks getting likes comments and all of that so it's uh, overall uh, the experience is great it has been wonderful it has been fantastic for me of all the five areas you know at, at least I can easily see that because of my passion, my area of passion and the things I've been doing in the past, you know, the areas that are really key for me, three three areas, the freelancing on the first day, I really enjoyed that because I learned a lot, you know, um, for the freelancing, I had a little bit of ex um, I, an idea um, through Fiverr because of the people that I've worked with in the past, I know that they use fiber and all of that and a few that my friends have told me about. But um, the thing is, I was able to understand some nitty gritty things about freelancing, some particular tools that you can use to, you know, to make your work, the delivery faster on time and stuff like that. Especially, we were even taught about how you can create original content using chat GPT and then fine tune it on yourself by yourself to ensure that um, when it's put into AI detection is not hundred percent and to ensure that you're you're not plagiarizing other people's um work, you know. And so for me that's very key, you know, a lot of other tools that we were um open to and then even some websites like um, digitalworks.ng where uh, we can go to register with, um, post our gigs, you know, that, that, that was the first time I heard that what you, when you are advertising your service, telling people about what you do, it's called a gig. So post our gigs and that was our assignment. Our assignment for that first day of um, freelancing was to 
you know, register with Digital NG, Digital Works NG, and then create a gig. So we send the our link, our profile link, and the gig link to a dedicated platform where we submit our assignments. And then on the second day when we learned our book you know, that was the best part. That was that was it for me. In fact, if they say that after that book preneur, nothing else, so we should be going no more. Ah, I'm telling you, I would have really, really, I say that yes, I have gained extremely. You know, so they taught us how to really plan your books because the, initially there was a course that I did. On book writing, it 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 didn't really that one. You have to be you know have to spend. I spent like six months in putting a book together. I was like, ah, this is a lot of work. You know, it's um, there's a the number of words you write per day, per week, and all of that. It was the manual type of writing. And it was it was good. It was a very good experience. But this particular one, you know, was the digital type of writing there's a there's a complete difference those are quite yeah honestly yeah just it and they taught us that we were able to use um digital tools to create our book and you know they gave us an assignment to write a complete book and submit it i doesn't have to be perfect and all of that and there is this I went for a meeting on Monday and we talked about um, financial intelligence, you know, moving from skills to systemic thinking. And I jotted down some notes, about two pages of notes from that meeting and said that, okay, I will, you know, no, initially I wanted to um, develop it into a an article for my LinkedIn page. But when it said, do your assignments, write a book, I just use that note that note that two page note to create my book and it was fantastic you know i did the book cover I already have a little bit of experience with canva so i was able to do my canva book my book cover on canva and it was i wish i could just show you you know the book and you can see uh, even the cover page and so i was able to do that and i was very grateful for that experience because you know something that normally would have taken me like six months um a lot of research a lot of hours spent on research you know because i also do research so you, when you're doing research you spend hours on it you have to be able to you know read through all the articles then write out your own notes of what you understand from what you have read and all of those things before you can actually now start saying you want to start writing the book and putting everything together and honestly this book premium training was just the bomb then they also taught us about where we can post our self-publish our books you know give us examples of lulu.com um draft to digital but i know that draft to digital does not accept um people from countries like nigeria for example so lulu.com would be a change for people like us that are resident in nigeria and our country is on the list of the um ban according to draft to digital so it would be a very good experience and then on the third, the other one for me, aside from those freelancing, the aside from freelancing and blueprint, is the blogging because I have a little bit of experience with blogging as well. I've been doing it for a while um, as a volunteer. I volunteered with, there was a church that I used to attend on the island, Victoria Island, and I was their in house um, blogger for the church um, blog sites. And I did that for. 2016 to 2020 and so but it was a tedious task for me you know and because of this training i see ways that i can improve myself i can be a better blogger and you know and if i was going to have my own blog they taught us about passion that if you're going to have your blog let your blog be in the area of your passion somewhere something that you are passionate about that you can talk or continue talking about continue talking about continue talking about for a long time they even gave us a list of about um 24 
trend areas that you know people really that is making waves when it comes to blogging you know some of it is exercising cooking religion relationship marriage um personal finance you know so it, it, we were told to just pick one area and then focus on that for three months and make sure that we are consistent with our blogging you know blogging consistency is you know blogging consistency is key and very particular because if, if you want to be a blogger and uh, a blog premier and you want to excel at it you have to do it not you do one this month you do one another month you know you don't have enough content so we were also taught how to use um, tools that we can use to generate content schedule the contents and then ensure that you have if you if your um, blog is that you'll be posting an article every three days you know you would have add those articles maybe two months of articles or three months of articles and then you schedule them it drops like that it drops like that and how to actually get um we're also taught how to get people to come to your blog site marketing the angle of it you know publicity for your blog and all of that so our assignment for that the for the blogging blog period which was yesterday is to register with a blog i registered with blogspot and then to create our first post so i created a welcome post talking about my blog and all of that and stuff and you know um this is also part of the assignment to do a testimonial about our five days boot camp so this is what i'm doing now so for the other two days which are areas i'm not really maybe because i don't really have a proper understanding of it so that might be one of the reasons why i don't see it as me you know um affiliate marketing which was on the third day yes on the third day um basically was we were introduced to how to help businesses or other individuals market their products and services um how to help them to reach out to potential clients through different tools email marketing and then we talked um uh, we even had assignment to register on um gazi uh, zoo and then warrior plus and then we also talked about autoresponders you know um in your email to so have autoresponders so that when people send you email they can easily get a response instead of waiting and and stuff like that you know um email alerts notifications and all those things so it it's really a good thing but maybe if when i become a part of when i start then because there's a 90 days um training after the boot camp so once i'm selected as part of that maybe once it's that time i can really have a better understanding of the affiliate marketing but for now it's not a an area of passion or key thing for me like that then the other one is the social media premium you know um i know about social media i i have accounts with facebook instagram um linkedin x family twitter and and if you others vc africa venture for venture for africa and stuff but i've uh, i also have social media pages because when i was teaching you know i taught entrepreneurship studies to teenagers and children in secondary and primary school so when i was teaching i used to take the children to business excursions take them to programs and all of that so we used to take pictures and videos so i had a page on facebook that i dedicated to that so i used to post all of those stuff on those pages you know but i didn't see it as a way to generate income you know um and that training on thursday actually really opened our eyes to open my eyes to the fact that I, it could also be a tool for generating income and for the youtube i use youtube a lot but not <laughs> not for myself the only time i think i did videos for youtube was when we were home for covid and we had to do online classes 
uh, virtual classes. So um, one of the schools I was working with then did virtual classes. So we have to do virtual classes and, you know, we had to create videos instead of lesson notes. You know, we did lesson notes a bit, but we had to also create videos and post for the students to have access to and all of that. So I did a few of those, you know, and then we were using the Edmundo platform. So I did a few of those. Some of them I posted on my personal YouTube channel and stuff like that. So... Um, but um, the this particular this time we were shown how to use different tools for YouTube to create videos to edit videos, you know. And with time, um, I know that um, additional training that can be it. Maybe by the time I have my book, I can after publishing my book, I can do a video of my book talking about it and all of that and post it on my YouTube channel or I once or about my blog, you know, put the book on the blog and then do a video and all of that. So that those you know, the book thing, the blogging thing, this YouTube thing, the three of them can work together and I'm looking forward seriously, you know, to being able to practicalize everything that I have learned. So I'm very grateful to Dr. Opa Banghu and his um, assistant, Eric Phillips, as well as the other people that have come on uh, during the boot camp to train us, Miss um, Funke, um, I think there was a Miss Moji or Mrs. Moji, I'm not really sure. And then there was um, there's the, um, Mr. Bishop and Mr. Jacob and, you know, every other person that has been working in the background to make sure that the five days of boot camp is a success and that everybody is able to get along, responding to us on WhatsApp when we have questions, you know. And it's really, really a good thing. I believe that it's... My, my sister, who, Mrs. Um, Princess Yinka Dixon, that sent me the link to participate in the program, really did did me a good solid. She did me a solid, you know, and I'm very grateful to her and to the organizers of the program for being a part of it. Thank you so much. And um, I'm really looking forward to be one of the 60, you know, people, one of the 60 that would benefit, but even if I'm not part of the 60, I can still do the 90 days without the internship and stuff and then leverage on that based on my own past experience and use that to, you know, improve the life of the people around me and myself because I believe that when you learn, you pass it forward. So I'm looking forward to be able to actually teach other people what I've learned as well. And probably maybe invite Dr. Okwe to our church and to help us teach our youths as well, you know, about digital entrepreneurship. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. I pray that this um, this giving that you have done will return to you multiple folds in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Mary Amoluate Nkambo. I'm a Nigerian. I'm an educator and an SME consultant. I teach entrepreneurship studies and I work with small businesses. Thank you.